Hey makers, in this episode, I am going to talk about how you can add grid view in your power pages. In our previous episode, we created a new basic form. Now we will create one grid view. When we open grid view, it should have all the rows that are stored in the dataverse table. And when we click on edit form, it should open the edit form. And when we click on new, the same basic form that we created last time, it should open. We will implement this whole thing in this episode. So stay tuned till end. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. Also, I have observed that 70% of you are watching my content, but only 30% of you have subscribed my channel. So make sure that you subscribe my channel. This is helping me in lot other way to survive myself and creating such kind of amazing content for myself. So please do support on this journey. So without further delay, let's get started. So let me redirect myself to the same power pages page we created in our earlier session. Now in order to create grid view, first we need to create dataverse view. And for that, simply go to your solution and open your dataverse table. So this is the employee table that we created last time. Now I am just going to the view section from here and let's create a view. So I am just clicking on new view and let's provide the name of the view. So I am providing the name of the view is employee grid view and I can simply click on create. Then we can add all the columns that we need as a part of our grid view. So let's say here I have name, I, ne I need last name, I need email, I need position. I need date of birth and I need phone number over here. Once I'm done, I will publish this view from here. So let's publish it and let's head over to the design studio of power pages. Now let me create a new page over here. So I'm just creating a page called employees. I don't want to add that page to the main navigation and I will simply click on add button over here. So this has created this page for me. And now I just want to click on the list from here. So let's select the list. Now here choose a table. So it will show you all the dataverse table to you. Let's choose our table employee and let's select the view from the employee that we just created employee grid view and simply click on OK. So this has created this beautiful view for us. Now let's preview it and this is looking like this simple and clear. Now we need to have create button as well as we want to edit this record or we want to have delete functionality as well. So how can we do that? For that you can simply click on this edit list option from here. This will open list setting for you. Over here you can simply click on the action button and take the action like toggle in new record, download the list element or you want to edit the record or you want to delete the record. So this is the first way of doing that. Another is you can simply go to the more option. Here you can see that how many records you need per page is that is something you can set it here. Also you can enable search as well inside your list. And there is an advanced setting which will redirect you to the portal management app. So this setting you can configure it from here as well or you can go to the advanced setting and do the portal management. My personal favorite is open the portal management app. So I am simply clicking on portal management app from here. So this has redirected me over here. So this has redirected under list section and here you can see that this is the employee grid view that we created. Now to configure the new button edit button, we simply need to click on the option menu from here. And over here, there is an option grid configuration. By default, it is already available over here. Here, you need to select the target type. So in my case, I want to select basic form because in our previous episode, we created basic form and that basic form I want to integrate on my create button. So I selected basic form. Now I need to select the form name. So this is the one that we created employee new form in our previous episode. So let's just create uh, or choose that option and then let's click on save. At this moment, we did not create it, but a uh, form for edit and delete. So we will just do not configure that at this moment, but soon we will create edit form as well. So let's just save this and 
let's just sync our configurations over here so i'm just syncing this and now let's click on preview and here we are now let's click on the create button from here and that will open the new form for us and here we are the new form is looking like this this is the exit form that we created last time okay so we are done with that now let's say i need edit form then first we need to create the edit form now how to create the edit form let's talk about that for that simply we need to go to the portal management app and i just want to recall my previous episode that this is one of the form that we have created so if we go to our dataverse table and go to the form section this is the one employee main form this is the one that we created last time from scratch okay so this is the common form that we will use for new and edit now only thing is that in basic form we need to do that differentiation that when this form will open as a new form and when this form will open as a edit form okay so let's do that now for edit form same way we will go to the portal management application and go to the basic form section again and this is the one that we created last time and this is the one employee new form we created the last time to create the edit form as well simply click on new over here provide the name of the form so i am providing the name as employee edit form and we need to select the table from here so i am just choosing employee from here and i will choose the exact same form employee main form from here and i need to select the tab general tab and then over here mode this is the important property earlier we created a new form that's why the form mode was insert now in this case i need to select the edit mode so we need to select edit and we need to provide the record source type so let's provide record source type as a query string and website is the one that we have this power platform training events and the record parameter will be id by default now let's click on save and close and this is creating my edit form so it's done now i want to configure that edit form with my grid okay so for that we will go again to the list section from the portal management app and simply click on the grid view that we just created we simply go to the options and over here let's define the edit and delete action so in edit action i need to simply select the basic form and edit form that we created let's select that and same way for delete the same form will work okay so that's how it's done now let's click on save and close and now let's go to our power pages sync the things and preview this stuff and here we are now here we do have this context menu and here simply we can click on edit and the same edit form will open in the pop up and this is how the form will look like so this is your edit form same way here is a delete option simply you can click on delete and it will open this pop up by default if you want to delete this record simply click on delete or you can simply click on cancel so that's how this basic form and this grid view configuration will look like isn't that cool also one more important thing over here sometimes what happening is you are not able to see the edit option okay so at that time you simply need to go to your portal management application and just check your table permissions so you simply can go to the security section and go to the table permission and this is the permission that we created in our previous episode so make sure that from here the right operation is selected here now if it sometimes it is not selected that's why you cannot able to see the edit option okay so yeah make sure about that thing over here so that's it for today we created a list view we created a edit form we configured the new action edit action and delete action so entire basic thing is ready for us now what's next stay tuned with me in my upcoming episode for power pages and if this video helps you and values your time make sure that you hit thumbs up subscribe button press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me looking for any consultation on power pages or any other power platform components the website link is available here or you can connect me through on any of the social media handle that is available on the channel cover right page with this 
This is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye and keep smiling.